What's up guys? Welcome back to the JC Tech and Finance channel. Today, I'm going to be giving you my first impressions of the Samsung QN95B QLED TV. But first, if you haven't seen my previous video doing an unboxing of this TV, you can check it out here. We will get to my impressions right after this. Welcome back. The Samsung Neo QLED QN95B TV has a slim aluminum frame that almost disappears when viewed from the front. Its flat design also makes it an excellent TV for mounting on the wall, though I did not mount it on the wall myself. It comes with the One Connect box that reduces the amount of cable mess and can be placed under the TV behind the TV on the stand, or in a suitable spot on the wall. This way, you can have all your ports easily available in front of the TV, rather than having to go behind the TV to get to it. The One Connect box has several connections, including an Ethernet port, an RF link port, an RF port, an antenna port, an X-Link port, three USB ports, four HDMI 2.1 ports, with the third one being for eARC, and the One Connect cable, the One Connect port. Now, the Samsung QN95B panel is an IPS panel that is powered by backlit LEDs. Each light zone is independently controlled and it has thousands of illumination levels. On the back of the TV, there are three speakers on each side, which allows for Dolby Atmos without needing to buy a song bar. Note, however, that there is also a new Wi-Fi based solution to wirelessly transmit Dolby Atmos to 2022 Samsung song bars. It has a peak brightness of over 2200 nits that allows great picture performance even in brightly lit rooms. The panel has an anti-reflective coating which allows the QN95B to minimize reflections. On the processing side, it is powered by the brand new Neo Quantum processor. It is the same processor used in Samsung's 2022 8K TV, and this allows for even better 4K upscaling. This TV comes with a 144 Hz panel. Note, however, that the refresh rate can only achieve 144 Hz when using a computer with the right graphics card. The PS5 and Xbox are locked at 120 Hz. As I mentioned earlier, the QN95B supports native Dolby Atmos with a 4.2.2 channel setup with up to 70 watts of power. The integrated speakers now radiate to the sides as well as upwards. It has Object Tracking Song Plus that allows the song to follow the movement on the screen and dynamically adjust the playback accordingly. Another song related feature is the Q Symphony feature, which allows song to not only play from the TV, but also from the song bar at the same time. Software wise, Samsung has given the operating system an overhaul with a full screen display and has divided it into three different sections, media, game, and ambient. Currently only media and ambient mode are available right now. The ambient mode also allows you to buy NFTs right from the comfort of your TV for the first time, though I really wouldn't recommend it. The gaming section will be released in a few weeks and I'll be sure to give you my review of that when it's released. Similar to other 2022 TVs, you have your choice of three different assistants, Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa and Samsung Bixby. By the way, if you liked this video and you thought it was helpful, please be sure to like this video so that it goes out to more people. And if you want to see other unboxings, 
first impressions and reviews, please be sure to subscribe because I really appreciate the support. Now, like with most roses, it has its thorns. Like most LED TVs, it suffers from the dirty screen effect. It does not support Dolby Vision like most other Samsung TVs. And the Tizen redesign can be a bit confusing. Last but not least, it has a new remote that can charge using solar power and RF harvesting. I already did a review of this remote in an earlier video, which you can find here. So I'm not going to go over it within this video. Oh, one more feature that it has that you might like is that it has a multi-view feature where you can watch two different apps at the same time. So you can watch the Samsung TV service and YouTube, for example, at the same time. In conclusion, hopefully this video has given you a better idea of what the QN95B TV is capable of. Comment down below and let me know whether you consider getting this TV. Please be sure to like, comment and subscribe. This is JC Tech and Finance signing out.